All right, guys. This is my review on the Rock Exotica OmniBlock 1.5. I chose this for a few different reasons. I uh, just received it today from Luke. But I chose this for, like I said, a couple different reasons. One reason is if you have a splice die, you don't have to, um, you know, unscrew anything up here like, you know, on, on the bigger blocks. And you can just, you know, run your rope through through there, no problem. Just flip this plate, this side cheek plate all the way down. Stick your rope in and then uh, snap it into place. And I'm doing all this with one hand, so it's really easy to to maneuver and manage. It's very well built. It is solid. Um, I've built quite a few things out of steel. And you just know from experience that when you hold something, you know, there's no rattling. I mean, it's very solid. And uh, another reason I, I chose this is um, I've been wanting to get it for a while. And I just... I saw it on uh, in a couple catalogs where they had it with a whoopee sling or a loopy sling, but I had other plans. That loopy sling that they had is made out of 10x, and I'm not a real big fan of 10x. It's strong, I like it, yes, but it does pick quite easily, as you guys know. So I, when I found this CMI 11,000 pound sling, I right away as soon as I saw it, I thought that can go girth hitch right on that eye right there, and off I go. It's 48 inches, so that'll be plenty to get around any rigging point that I will ever use for a half inch line. And if it's you know too big, I can wrap it around a couple of times until I get to where it needs to be. So those are two main reasons. And then another reason is also like um, like if you have just a regular pulley, you would have to attach a carabiner to the pulley and then to the sling. So with this, you eliminate the carabiner or shackle or whatever, and you can just girth hitch it onto there. And you don't have to have a 10x sling with it, and so you don't have to worry about the picking. So this was, will be a lot more durable than the 10x, I'm sure. But um, And then another thing is, you can see how easy this is to open. I mean, I'm doing that with one hand. So, and then you slide the cheek plate over. And then, uh, let me see here. Throw in the half inch line, and then you're ready to go. So that's that's why I got it. And um, like I said, we got rained out this morning at work, so I wasn't able to use it today. I probably won't be able to use it for a little while. But uh, when I got home, I had a box sitting on my door from Luke. He always comes through, so I'm pretty excited about this but whenever I do get to use it up in the tree I'll take a GoPro video and and then I'll post it up but I could tell it's gonna be nothing short of everything I expected I think the work and load limits like eight eight kilonewtons which is um, plenty strong so but you can see back here it swivels really easy it has warnings on the back let's see if I can zoom in there focus but that's it that's got this is kind of textured here so you can kind of help you get grip if you need to if you wearing gloves or something but I mean holding it like this here in my hand and then you can snap it one two and it's it doesn't it doesn't hardly at, at all wiggle so it's very well built i highly recommend it thanks for watching